Hey there, are you looking for a small camper? Let me suggest a semi stand up. You can't really stand up, but you can sit up in the dinette and here's three reviews. Wallabear. There are three different interior heights you might want inside a camper, and there's a lot of compromise going on. Because you add to the interior height and you either lower the frame closer to the road or you get a tall camper. A lower camper goes down the road easier, fits in your garage, and is just more manageable. 36 inches gives you room to sit up in bed. Something 58 inch inside lets you sit up in a dinette and move at a crouch. If you've got about 70 inches, you can almost stand up. The koala bear and indeed most of the rustic teardrops are in that middle class. And they do a great job of making use of that space. The koala is their entry model and it's basic compared to the stealth, which I have also reviewed. But it's a nice space to be able to camp in. At two months, the lead time isn't bad, plus it's good value for the money. It'll tow with almost anything at 1,100 pounds, so if you're near North Carolina, it's worth checking out their entire lineup. Rustic Teardrops are one of the few makers who specialize in that sweet spot, the mid-height camper. They'll go in the garage, yet let you sit down to dinner inside. If you want to see other reviews, including the Stealth, check out my Axle Camp YouTube channel and find videos about how you're to take your camper further off the beaten path. This is their Grizzly Bear model. This is the Stealth. And this is the Meerkat with a very clever pop-up lid so you can stand up in that area. The Sunray 109 Sport Camper. The Sunray 109 Sport Camper is a small, lightweight camper that is designed for easy travel and camping. It's like one of those huge RVs, shrunk down, and that makes it easy to tow. It's a bit too tall for a standard garage, but would fit in an 8-foot door. It features cool retro styling and colors. There have been reports of quality issues and leaks. It's a clever functional design. It's made by a large RV company, Sunset Park, in contrast to most of the smaller teardrop makers. It's thus also available much more easily at a large range of dealerships. It has a small kitchenette with a sink, a two burner cooktop, and a mini fridge. The kitchenette is compact but functional, making it easy to cook meals while on the road. It also has an integrated entertainment system that includes a stereo, speakers, and a TV DVD player. The system can be controlled with a remote and the TV can be swiveled to be viewed from inside or outside the camper. Let's look at some similar campers. This is the Intec Pursuit, very versatile, a toy hauler as well. This is the Helio HE3, a tiny fiberglass camper. And this is a Sylvan Go, which is a really remarkable exercise in innovation. The Rustic Teardrop Kodiak Stealth Camper. The Kodiak Stealth is, to me, a really stylish camper. They've also found a middle ground between a camper where you can sit up in bed, requiring 36 inches, and can stand up, requiring 69 inches. That's important because they give you a camper that won't hurt your miles per gallon so much and can be tucked away in a garage. It's a mid-height and they give you 58 inches of height inside. That means you can sit up in a dinette as well as move around reasonably well. And it's a welcoming space inside with a dinette that converts to a bed and a countertop in the front. It comes with electric brakes and at 1100 pounds can be towed by almost anything. It can be equipped with an awning and an off-grid power system. It's a canned ham camper and that means you've got to make sure to you prevent any leaks along those seams on the edges. That said, I once bought a 50-year-old Scotty Cerro out of a farmer's field where it had been sitting for years. Because it was small and simple, I was able to fix it up. Check out their other campers most, most of which are designed in this sweet spot of height. Located in North Carolina and in business for over 10 years, they've built a community behind their campers. 
Your other options are to go to a stand-up like a Scamp 13 or a Cricut, or to choose a traditional teardrop. Check out my other reviews on my Axle Camp channel on YouTube, where you'll also find videos about how to boondock in your camp. Here are some similar campers. This is the Meerkat, which is a really clever design. This is the Micromax, which is a lot like a Scotty Saro. This is another one by them called the Cola Bear. And this is another camper they make called the Papa Bear.